What's the dealio Martilio? It's your boy Josh Durant coming to y'all with another banger video. Look outside, y'all. It is so cold and snowy, but at least we got some sun today. I mean, the sun make everything better, even though it is like 12 degrees outside. It's freaking cold. So if y'all in the north, in the Midwest, wherever, and it's cold, go get a coat. Drop the same coats, comment down below, let me know. That way I just put an ad for merch in the beginning of the video. But anyways, y'all, right now, um, remember my ticket I got? So I'm about to go uh, pay, well, I'm about to pay this ticket. Bro, hold on, let me set y'all on something. So I don't gotta hold y'all. Y'all heavy, Saint Squad. Y'all been eating, getting dinner made for y'all every night I upload. Y'all might be getting fat. Y'all do y'all push-ups last night or this morning? Hope y'all did, man, but yeah, so I'm about to I'm about to pay this ticket first. We about to get into this video. I'm about to pay this ticket because in Michigan it is 14 days to do something about the ticket. In Cali, I'm used to a little you got a whole month. You got 30 days, but Michigan is 14 days. Today is the 14th day. So I think like on the bottom of the ticket, it just show you where you can go to pay online. And Pete and traffic is two hundred dollars, bro. I thought I thought it was like a hundred something. $200 for impeding traffic is nuts. I understand that a service fee of $8.25, bro. A service fee is crazy. Just imagine this, that service company, whatever, that same school, I need y'all to think about this, okay? I need y'all to think about this. Cheat code, cheat code moment right here in the beginning of the video. Go down and smash the like button because I know you didn't start eating your food yet. So make sure you go eat your food, you eat your dinner, reheat your leftovers, whatever you got, and just watch the banger video, watch this movie for show. So smash the like button, cheat code moment. Okay, now you can eat the food. Thank you for, you ain't even smash the like button yet, bro. What are you doing? Come on, go down. Put the chicken wing down, bro. Put the chicken wing down, wipe your finger on the napkin, smash the like button real quick for me. Please, you watch, you watch every video, just smash the like button. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for smash like button. I'm giving you free game right now. Free game, all you gotta do is smash the like button. So free game, think about this. There's a company out there that has just made $8 and don't even know I exist. And they took $8 from me. They didn't have to see me or nothing. These service companies, bro, I'm telling you, if y'all made a company where it's like, okay, we'll send the money We'll send the money to the court. They just the middleman and they charge $8 to be a middleman. Instead of you going to the court and paying them, you can do it at the comfort of your home. And they make an extra $8. They don't even know I exist. I don't even know who owned the company. I don't even know what the company is and they take my money. Think of that, Saint Squad. How can you be a middleman or something to get make some money? Think about that today. That's the question of the day. How can, how can you make money? How can you take money from people you, you don't even know? They don't even know you. But anyways, submit. You must go submit to complete your order. Eight dollars, and they, I don't know who this who this company is. I don't know who this person is. And they just made money off me. Thank you for your order. Payment, please print this page for your records. Two hundred dollars to the court. Okay, I accept the consequences. But eight dollars. I don't even know the company name, and they just I, they just made eight dollars. How can you do that? How can you take money from people? It don't even have to be a lot, but take money from people and they don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just service companies, man. Oh yeah, you want me to go give, you want me to give you the money to the court? Okay, I'll do that for you. I'ma just put my extra price on there. It's not even a lot. Ain't that crazy how the world works, ain't squad? Question of the day. But anyways, y'all, right now we are about to get our day started. The sun is out. If the sun out, that mean we out, y'all. So right now, I've been thinking about this for a little bit. Well, actually, I'm going to save it till we get there. But we are about to head to Galeanas. There's a couple things I want to do today. First, I want to actually get the hoodies going on my thing. I think I'm going to get about six hoodies or so for a boom. You see it on the screen. The Saint hoodies, the legendary rap Huracan hoodies. I'm going to get my merch back going. Find a Nick inspired me. So shout out to Find a Nick, man. I'm going to get my merch back going. So I think I'm going to make six or so. I don't have that much confidence that you guys are going to actually like buy it. So I'm going to just start with six and limp. And yeah, I think I'm going to sell them for like 60, $55, $60. I think 60 would be straight. I think I'm going to sell them for 60. So I need y'all who are actually truly interested in buying the hoodies. Comment down below and let me know your size, man. Let me know your size and I'm going to go buy them. So today I want to do that, but I'm going to go up to Galeanas. I haven't been up there in a minute and not in a minute, but like I just haven't seen them for the new year. So it's always good for it 
to keep connections with companies that you have. Yes, you could call, but in person, it's always better. And the ticket, make sure you always pay your tickets on time, man. Because that's how you get stuck in getting warrants and everything. If you don't pay a ticket on time, then they double if you late. Then they go all the way. Now you owe like $2,000 and you got a warrant. And your license suspended. Pay your tickets on time. That's what my mom taught me. Anyways, y'all, this fit for the day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like my new mirror? Comment down below, let me know. But fit for the day, we coming. Saint Coat. You know what I'm saying? Saint Coat in the black. You see the glitter. Let me, let me. I ain't twerking, no homo, don't look. What are you looking at? Look up at the glitter shaking. You know what I'm saying? So Saint Coat on the on the back, you know what I'm saying? With the flare pants, because it's 12 degrees outside. These flare pants are so heavy. These is winter pants, dang near. So flare pants, and I've been wearing my Dior boots so much. And yes, because this is rubber, I put socks in here, right? I literally Negro rigged this and put socks in here because that junk be hurting, bro. So I put socks in here for this rubber right here. Yeah, so I've been wearing the Dior pant, Dior boots way too much, way too much. So I decided to come the the McQueens today because we haven't rocked these in the minutes. It's cold outside, the snow outside. These dang near boots. So we come in McQueens today on a little chill vibe type beat. You know what I'm saying? It's just a regular, just a regular Tuesday. So you know we coming all coming all chill vibes. But yeah, same squad fit today, rate the fit. And then I did throw on the little. I tried to win a car. I think I tried to win a Huracan before. So I do got this on, you know what I'm saying? Legend Supply, hello. <laughs> no free promo. Actually, no free promo. My bad. But, you know, the little white right there to go with the little white of touch down there. You know what I'm saying? So we came all black. All black fit today. But anyways, y'all, let's go. I think we done here. Go hop in the, hop in the baby MG. Hurricane out here. We gonna go with this freaking radar and this camera, dude. But we about to go to Galeana's first. We gonna swing by Galeana's. And, y'all, sometimes I think about, like, I'm just thinking about progression and everything, right, y'all? Like, on a whole little YouTube tip type beat, you know what I'm saying? Same squad, hear me, y'all. I be thinking, like, sometimes I'm like, ah, I should probably, like, while we have the AMG getting built, the Hellcat AMG, stay tuned for that build, y'all. This week, actually, this week we go, we take all the engine, we take the engine out, take everything out, yada, yada. And then we get to see Performance Lab through Shop 2 because they have a Demon 170 coming. And we doing something crazy with that on delivery day. So just stay tuned for both of those videos. So Hellcat AMG get built, but then I'll be like, one day maybe I should get like a Charlie Hellcat, just that like winter build type. Be like, of course the AMG getting built, that's a big boy, but like a minuscule tiny build. But then I don't know, I just don't think like, I don't know, like oh a Hellcat cool and all, but right now for me, I don't know. We'll talk about that more at Galeana's too. But the main point is we about to go up here and visit them, see them. And then if I did end up like, was like, I don't think I'm going to get another Hellcat. I really don't. But if I wanted to, and for y'all's sake too, if y'all want to get a Hellcat, how much would it be in 2024 to get a Hellcat now? That's what we just going to go up there and see. So we're going to do that. Then I'm going to go pick up some hoodies and stuff and finally get this stuff out to y'all in get some merch going get some merch back going in the thing San squad try to do at least one hoodie a month or so i don't know something like that but if y'all want that comment down below let me know like a lot of y'all say your brand the brand the saint logo and everything is sweet yes it is copyright it can't take it so the saint logo everything is sweet y'all say i need to capitalize on that more so i'm pretty sure y'all want some more more merch but yeah just comment down below let me know what y'all think about it man is that what y'all really want is that true you know what i'm saying Y'all want some more clothes, man? Comment down below and let me know. Man, I'm gonna get it out to y'all, but yeah. We finna hit Galeana's. I think Ken gonna meet me up there. I do not know, but yeah, y'all. It looks so cold outside right now. Like, look at that. The freeway salted, so salt on the freeway. Snow just up. And you know what's crazy? It say it is 16 degrees out right now. Don't mind the tire thing. My back right sensor is, I don't know what happened to it. But it say it's 16 degrees out right now, right? But next week, y'all, next Thursday, is going to be the warmest day. It go back up to 50. It's going to be 51 next Thursday. Temperature. Ain't that just nuts, bro? Like, what is going on? But I ain't complaining. Bring, bring the worth back, please. All of this snow is going to be just gone. This stuff up here, if y'all want to go swing at takeovers. Swinger. It's like, no, I'm just, I'm just talking. I walked in here just saying anything. I'm, don't do that. We don't condone that. Hello, Misha. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, y'all. Misha bought a Hellcat. Look at that. See this bad baby right here? Pristine. That's what Top Sauce 
car woman of the month get you? Dang, you sell the most cars in the month, huh? December. December? I'm coming for their heads all year 2024. Dang. Okay, then talk that talk then, Misha. I'm gonna talk all that fucking shit. Okay, let's let us know some. <laughs> What's to do? Shit, man. That was with y'all boy Saturday. Who? For real? What's y'all doing? Oh, bar. Yeah, y'all was lit. Mm hmm. Trash be turned. Mm hmm. No feet. You can't build Hellcats no more, can you? Nope. Dang, that's crazy. It's building Hellcats is over. Yeah, I seen someone actually leaked it. Not leaked it, but. Um, someone was actually driving one. Right? Yeah, someone's driving like the. Uh, what? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna just place a video. My boy uh, posted it. I'm gonna just place a video so y'all can see it on the screen. Saying squad, while we sit here and talk in peace. But the new ones, what y'all think about them? Comment down below. And let me know. Would y'all buy one? Uh, I think it looks straight, low key. Like, you think it's ugly? Yes. I think for like a futuristic type of like ugly. Mopar, I feel like it look fire. You put a Hellcat engine in it. I think it's cool. For you know? like a futuristic type, yeah, type of style. If you think of like in the future, hmm? but you look crazy as hell driving things out here on these regular roads with all these other cars. Yeah, <laughs> nah. What kind of car is that? Mm -hmm. If they put a Hellcat engine in it, I think it would be better. They're probably gonna think they're boy foreign for real. <laughs> yeah, low key. That's how it looked though. What y'all think about it? Comment down below. Let let me know, Saint Squad. Misha. So if I had like a Saint Squad right that wanted to come buy a Hellcat. Mm -hmm. What would they need, or how much would it be, you think? I mean, depending on what kind of Hellcat they want, depending on what kind of specs they want. They want red interior, they want black interior, they want wide body, nine wide body, you know. Depends on their credit. You got tier one, you got terrible credit. Probably ain't gonna happen, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Want, want. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> Because the Hellcats are expensive. You're gonna need some good credit to get a Hellcat unless you're paying cash. Then credit won't matter. Ooh, so just either y'all paying cash, y'all getting money for real, y'all getting that money on, or you gotta have good credit. Yeah, if your credit ass, you ain't getting no Hellcat. Mm -mm. And you can't even, you can't build your own Hellcat no more. The last one, didn't you see that? The last one came off was a Demon 170. Yeah, it made. Like right before the New Year. Mm hmm. Yeah, or right after New Year, some shit like that. Yeah, you can't even build your own Hellcat no more. You sick. You out of luck. You shitty. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. That's okay, because I have a plethora, a variety of Hellcats, Scat Packs, Chargers, Challengers. If you need an SXC because your credit can't get you a Hellcat, I got you too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? V6. All wheel drive, you know snow outside. Like, you know? RTs. If you want a rear wheel drive, you want to seem like you in kind of scared, put you in the RT, bro. Yeah, come I on. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Come we, see me. Ooh. We lit over here. Misha Galliana, she said, come see her. So, Saint Squad, if you can't build one, but you can still, I don't, I don't know where the hell cat's at, but you can still get one. Mm -hmm. You know, so. That, that's what it is. So to the people who want to actually get a Hellcat and stuff, right? Let's say you don't like the new ones. You're not going to wait for it. You want to get a Hellcat now. If I want to get a Hellcat, there will probably be... A Hellcat is what? How much are they? Like 80K? 90? Yeah. Body, I charger, need I need Challenger? I need a wide body, red eye, Chally. Need that. A red eye, yeah. Challenger, wide body. It's probably going to be 100 grand plus. We don't got no nose. <laughs> Okay, regular wide body Hellcat. A regular wide body. I mean, we got twenty uh two twenty twos that we can get you the best deal on. You know what I'm saying? Get mm -hmm. you like five six k off. You know what I'm saying? So how much would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got employee discount. Y'all got it. <laughs> how much would that be? <laughs> um, let's see. They're running about with the discount seventy three thousand to seventy five thousand. We got two of them, so it just depends on which one. Oh, that's one not is bad. more expensive than the other. Yeah. So Saint Squad, let me let me break this down for y'all, right? If y'all came up here, it was like, okay, I want a Hellcat, employee discount, got it for like seventy five, right? That's about that's like eleven hundred a month. Cause my AMG, my AMG, I got it for eighty after taxes was like eighty something. It's twelve hundred a month. So if y'all got a Hellcat, it would be eleven hundred a month. That's how I based off of my AM. The big AMG is eighty k. I pay eighty k. I pay twelve hundred a month for it. I base it off of that. So ten thousand dollars cheaper is probably or five thousand is eleven hundred something. That's how I base it off of. So if you want to buy one now, 
thirteen, fourteen hundred. To be honest, because the interest rates are high right now. So when you got your uh, yep. AMG, interest rates probably right. low. Mm -hmm. That's probably when interest rates were popping. But mm -hmm. now the bitches are ass. Okay. So if you want to get you a Hellcat right now, it's okay if interest rates are high. Just wait six months to a year. You can refinance, get you a lower interest rate, a better payment, and you in your car mm. after a year. You right where you want to be. No fake. We smoke time. Ooh, Misha spinning. That is that is true. I forgot about that. Interest rates are high now. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Same squad. Trust me. What Misha you said. If you if is on the line, mm -hmm. you can always refinance. Yeah. Especially with credit unions, they get the best refinance rates. That is true. Credit, you know my credit union, man. Bank Live Life. No, that's the Instagram. The Instagram is Bank Live Life. Go follow them. But my credit union is Live Life Federal Credit Union. So if y'all want to get right, but it's not like a magical credit union. They work with young people. But like you can't go in here with 400, no credit. Think you finna get something? It don't life don't work like that. Y'all gotta build yourself up, man. For no one. For no one. <laughs> no one. No one. No bank. Not not even me. <laughs> you got you got to you got to build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? And some people, some people probably is too excited to and be like, I need Hellcat now. Okay, well come to Galliano's. They got a deal for you, and you can go get you a Hellcat, and then refinance if you super impatient but if you want to be patient wait for interest rates to go down because they are about to go down i think they're about to crash down which mean go down a lot then just wait till then you know what i'm saying it's not that deep to get one now mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. So, or if you can get into it now get into it now and refinance after a few months mm -hmm. or if you can't even get into it okay get, get the swinger takeover swinger slideshow 1320 1320 video we got the mopar edition Mm -hmm. Look, y'all can even get this too. You feel me? I don't know. I don't like that green. I look like boo boo. The green with the, <laughs> the green with the. I don't. This look like straight oh dookie. God. You sick, yo, boo boo green. This is what this look like. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't like the fa green. Do y'all like it though? Huh? You like it? Yeah. I don't. No. Mm. Uh uh. I do not like that. Look at that. I'm trying to see if they have more. But yeah, y'all, literally, if you, so to the people, you want to know how much is it to afford a Hellcat in 2024 is basically that. It's probably like 1300 almost 100000 1300 85 to 100000 Yeah. Hellcat prices right now. Mm -hmm. Or that's what they are not yeah. right now that's just the end yeah that's basically <laughs> they not making them no more <laughs> yeah they not so it's pretty it's pretty much up there and it's stuck there in there like swimwear so you got to get it how you live so right now as i'm making this video as interest rates are right now you got to think about that probably about like 1300 1400 a month and you got to ask yourself is that worth it for people who's like who want to get a hellcat this year and actually like okay i'm gonna get me a hellcat this year i'm gonna do this i'm gonna work hard and everything I'm gonna give y'all three steps, okay? Three steps to getting one this year. Misha, you ready? This free game right here, Saint Squad. If you didn't smash the like button earlier, and I told y'all to, I'm giving you a second chance. You could go down and smash the like button right now, okay? Smash that like button. All right, let me Hit that like button. Tip, tip. Tap no that fake. Shit. Need that. All right, y'all did it. Thank y'all. So free game right now, all right? Three steps to afford a Hellcat right now, and at any age you are, okay? Number one step. This is number one. This is the top dog. This, you, this is the first thing you should do. Okay? Don't ask why I'm waiting. Some of y'all ain't smashed the like button yet. No. Oh, y'all did it? Alright, cool. So the number one step you should do, ever, and this is with, throughout life and everything, make sure, you got, make sure you got God in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's the number one thing because... He make everything possible. The impossible Amen. become possible. That's how I did everything I do. You know what I'm saying? How, how I am, where I am, is through God. Okay, so first, find God in your life. Second, understand how money works. You got to understand, like, okay, if if this car is 1400 a month, how am I going to make extra 1400 each month? And when you think about it like that, then it's like, okay, 1400 isn't that bad when you just, like, if I can make $100 a month, and all you have to do is think of how you can get two people to give you $50 each day. And that could be a product that you're good at. Like, let's say you know how to draw. You can sell paintings for like $25. Then that's about four people. You know what I'm saying? So think of it like that and break down money like that. 
And the third thing is don't be lazy. Make sure you get a good schedule in. Like, wake up early, know what you're about to do for the day, work hard for the day, you know what I'm saying? And then boom, stick with that and let everything snowball. That's a quick, that's like three steps. That's like quick assessments, I would say, to being able to not only have a Hellcat, but anything else and doing whatever you want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? That's three quick steps. What do y'all think about those? Uh, Saint Squad, I want y'all who are, who got wisdom, build that up in the comments also. Some steps people ask and just help each other in the comments, y'all. Let's all talk to each other. But let me know what y'all think about my steps, if they good or valid or not too. Feel me? What you What you think, Misha? I'm spinning? I think they're good. You think they good? Yes. See ya. Yes. Listen to I be spinning, Saint Squad. You did it before? Mm-hmm. I did do it before. It. Still doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Aventador, coming soon. Hello. But anyways, while I'm sitting here chilling, I'm finna go to my favorite spot. Cause my stomach touching my back saying, Squad, y'all wanna know something? No, we not going to parts and service, even though Demon 170 engine back there. We need an update on that, but I'm telling you, Galeana's vending machine hit so crazy. I don't know why it hit, but it just do it just they got hitters in here. real black man lunch and just like that y'all trx we are leaving galianas it is so cold out here i just ran in the same squad up here you know what i'm saying Ooh. Ooh. Kick, kick the feet off you know what i'm saying we in the sand y'all it is cold what the heck it is cold, but uh, yeah, I just have to come up to Galeanas. I just came and chilled up here and stuff. Say squad, uh, I think like it's always good to keep a connection alive. You never want to be that person that only goes somewhere or talk to someone, especially like when you get in a business. We get in a business, like I, I'm a business, Saint Squad. I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. You know what I'm saying? So once you get in a business, it's always good to keep that connection alive with people and just talk to them. Like, don't be the person that come when you need something, but always just like it's like keep a connection alive. And that's what I do with Galianas. They always took care of me and they literally sponsored me and everything. So it's always good to keep a connection alive just in case they might have an opportunity for you in the future. So Always keep good relationships, Saint Squad. Keep good relationships. So right now, we about to go pick up these hoodies. Y'all, I've been sitting here geeking all morning, y'all. So first of all, listen to, wait, actually, this is what I've been watching. So I've been sitting here and watching YouTube and stuff while I was editing. And then I look, I was on Instagram Reels and found this dude like secret weapon, like the exhaust. Tell me this is the most like F1 sounding uh, Huracan R8 exhaust. Bro, what the heck? Let me see. Hold on. Let me... Why is this most replayed? Let me see. Do y'all watch exhaust videos too? Comment down below and let me know. But I've been geeking all morning. They're from Brazil. No English subtitles. No English nothing. But it's cool though. Just listen. Okay, so you hear that? Now listen to this. Literally the closest to F1 sounding exhaust ever for a Huracan R8. Listen, listen. This is the same V10. <laughs> y'all, I'm when I tell y'all I've been geeking all morning. Oh my gosh. Every time I watch like car stuff and then like, especially the F1 stuff on reels, it make me want to play, bro. Like this is my F1 sim setup. I'm not going to give you all a full rundown, but if y'all do want to see, let me just, let me just show y'all a little something. So I like F1, teach y'all about me. I like F1. I like racing. Basically, I like driving fast. Since why I go to the track, I have my helmet and this is the helmet F1 drivers actually have. It's a bell helmet. This thing is expensive. This isn't even carbon fiber. And this was still like $800, right? But I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the F1 setup. Skip it. Before we go, I get these hoodies. Yes, it is the next day. Yes, I'm in the same clothes with this. What, what's the temperature? It's 13 degrees outside. I'm bundling up. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Get it how you live. 
I'm, I'm finna show y'all something. So, I'm about to show y'all the F1 Sim for we head out, thank you. A lot of, I'm just showing y'all because a lot of y'all on my Instagram, like, I'll post something about it on my story. Follow me on Instagram, drop story with two T's. I'll post something about it on my story, and a lot of y'all like F1 and be watching and be interested in my Sim and stuff. So, I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown real quick. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all I really do this for, like, Cadillac is going to F1 in 2008. I need anyone at GM Cadillac, tell them, let's start a program. Make me the F1 driver. Train me. Make me the F1 driver for 2028. I said 2008. 2028. Make me the F1 driver. Look, I'm going to show you how sweet I am off the sim, though. Off the sim. Watch this. Just, just watch. Let, let it load up. So, before I get copyrighted, you can choose which car you want. Oh, we're going to go Mercedes just because Lewis Hamilton. Put your, it's a Ferrari steering wheel. Don't mind. It's the sweetest one I can find. You know what I'm saying. Woo! And then we're going to do my favorite track. It used to be Saudi Arabia, but... For some reason, people online don't put this track on there. So now it's usually, I usually go for Australia or Spain, but we gonna do Australia just for the sake of it, y'all. I love Australia track. So we're gonna do that. Look, y'all, let me put y'all on. Okay, so here we are. We'll start like this same squad. So I got my steering wheel right there. And what I usually do is I'll just go back here and plug it in, right? So this is pretty simple. It's like a simple setup. And then, that happen when it when it plug in force just strong right so fix it for it and now y'all probably like okay got a it's got a screen why ain't light up best part boom you got it right here look so you turn the wheel you can see the mirror see see around the garage and everything right it got a screen why ain't light up with a flip of a switch the 2020 ferrari f1 steering wheel I didn't put it in the computer to update it and everything because you gotta, once you get the wheel, you're supposed to update it on a website or whatever. I don't have a Windows computer to do that. You know what I'm saying? So it usually pop up with all the tire stuff. These work, but since I didn't do that, it just stayed like that. But it's it's cool though. It's cool. Let me show y'all something. Make this work. I wanted y'all to see me, but y'all, y'all just gonna see the screen. I know this did not just turn into a gaming video. My bad, y'all. This is just gonna be quick. I'm gonna just do one lap for y'all, okay? I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna teach y'all something. Teach y'all something about race cars and driving fast, all right? Same squat. Teach y'all something. So what I usually do is, my back, you see a little glare. You go, I just did time trying, gonna race the bike for y'all. Low setup. Where is it? Australia. And the setup I copy is low key like one, two, three. Too much arrow. So I usually just do that, right, y'all? So now, go to the steering wheel, got my setup, go to track. We're gonna do, yeah, flying lap. Here, let me show y'all something, thanks, squad. Let me show y'all something. So what I drive with... I guess the RS don't work. Ooh. Woo! You see that save? Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. I just want to know why why ERS not working. Hold on, I'm messing up big time. Hold on, y'all. I thought I was trying to figure that out. Bro. Hold on. This the real deal right here. My bad, y'all. I keep messing up. I don't know, bro. The whole car is on the track. Yeah, I don't care. And my core just disconnected. I think I'm running too much down for Saint Squad, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go here and cause there's no way my personal best is like I'm not gaining on it. He just staying right there. And especially if we we doing the same turn, so pers I think I'm gonna just do two more down on the downforce. Um tires is straight. I'm gonna do two more down on the downforce, and I think this should be it, Saint Squad. I think this is it. I'm my bad if I'm wasting y'all time, but last one for real. This, this, this should be it.
Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh. Calm down, Will. Calm down. Woo, snap. There you go. You got beat and you're rival. Woo! I knew it just wasn't me. You know what I'm saying, Saint Squad. I know I'm telling y'all do this for real. It's all in your car setup and how your uh, car setup is, y'all. And that's how you know you, you Gucci and Gucci. But if y'all want to see like my full like sim setup and you want to see like an actual like full video on this or whatever and my extra passion of racing cars and going fast and everything. Yes, I do use the brake line and I drive an automatic, but that's the only like you could say assist I actually use. Just because like the racing line, it's just, I use it just for braking. I don't like drive on the racing line, but like my braking and my corners and stuff need that. I can't really tell in the, in the, in the game because like, in real life, let me tell y'all, in real life, I used to hate the sim. I'm like a phenomenal driver in real life. I know how to drive. I know I love the feeling of being connected with the car and feeling the car and everything. In real life, I'm a phenomenal driver. When I first got on the sim, I hated the sim because in a car, you could feel the road. You could feel the car. You're more connected to the car. On the sim, it's like it's just off of eyes. Yes, upgrading your wheel to the Ferrari wheel and everything with more force feedback, it, it helps a little bit, but it's nothing like real life driving and feeling the car and that's what like i just couldn't feel in this i hated it at first but then you learn to use your eyes a little bit more and stuff and then it helps in real life because then you get to use your eyes a bit and the little feel in the wheel it helps you feel in the wheel but then also when you feel the car it all going together so like i used to suck at sim racing but now i'm better but i'm even better in real life i know i am but that's just that's that's just a little testimony and then i also show you guys how low aero changes how aerodynamics work and how it really affect the car to go faster and everything like literally two little aero changes I think it was like two notches of arrow made me like one millisecond faster or two which is a lot in um actual motorsport racing and stuff but if y'all want a full in-depth video man just comment down below and let me know but anyways let's let's continue our day cool start on baby AMG replace key battery well at least the car turned on don't do a McLaren on you just don't start and have you wondering but y'all, playing on that sim in the house be making me so hot, man. If y'all want to see more sim stuff, though, like that, I'm telling y'all what I really want to do is, like, just race cars, bro. Like, I want to be a race car driver. Maybe through the glory of God, the hopes of God, everything is possible with God. I make it the F1. I don't know how. Well, my Cadillac plan. Somebody tell Cadillac, come on, we break the internet with that. Be like, no way you gonna have this rookie just join the F1 and skip all the way through. Be the best. When, when, my, when, when my first race... Three races in, you know what I'm saying? But I want I actually do want to race cars. I want to be a race car driver. So all of that stuff, if y'all want to get better at driving, sim does help. And then you learn a car also, especially like racing. You learn aerodynamics and everything. That's how I know about aero. And I learn aero because I'm a nerd and I seek that type of knowledge and everything. But yeah, y'all. So I want to race cars. So if y'all want to see more of that, comment down below and let me know. But we bought the finally and officially go pick up these hoodies. I'm about to make this post on my Instagram story right now let me see actually i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this picture because it show it it show it the best and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say uh where does questions i'm gonna say what size you uh, let me turn y'all down so y'all can focus and actually see gosh darn it but yeah so I'm gonna say, what size do you wear? Only, ooh, ooh, I'm messing up. Only answer if you, if you cop in the hoodie. There you go. So, what size do you wear? I'm posting that on my Instagram story, man. Do not be left out. Go to my Instagram, Josh Laurent with two T's. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't be left out, man. Because, like I said, I don't have much confidence in y'all copping the hoodies, man. I've been through this. Like, I've sold merch before. Not only would I wouldn't even sell a lot at all, y'all. Like, I would literally only sell probably like three things. So, it's like, I think I'm only buying like three hoodies for real. 
So I'm gonna bite their hoodies and then I'm gonna just pick out y'all size. Whoever reply, I'm gonna pick out your size. And then when they go up, you better be the first to cop, man. Cause yeah, I think I'm only do like three to five because I ain't really sell that much before. So when I did merch before. So we just gonna slow grind our way up, y'all. Ain't no ain't nothing bad about slow slow grind, slow and easy. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna slow grind our way up. So I'll probably only do five and hopefully five people buy because honestly my merch never did good in the first place i don't know why i thought it you know y'all like the logo i think it's sweet but it just ain't never do good in the first place so i'm gonna probably only start with five so i'm gonna go buy these five hoodies for y'all i'm gonna put y'all on free game where to get blank hoodies by the way also so only answer if you cop in the hoodie for real i'm gonna just say i'm gonna just put for real because some people be cap be cap i'm just put for real under there yeah, put for real. So that's going on my Instagram story right now. Need that. Look at Robbie World. Look at Jasmine. Y'all, y'all ain't seen Jasmine in a minute. And I'm in the close friends. Y'all, some of y'all are new saints, but I probably do not know. She's there in the beginning. But, you know, gotta make sure that uploads. So now, we're gonna drive to the spot to get these hoodies, man. I'm finna put y'all on. Watch this. Free game. Free game right now. You go to Hobby Lobby, you get blank hoodies and stuff. You get blank shirts and hoodies. But there's a warehouse that has all type of colors, but we just doing black. Y'all, let's say it is 12 degrees outside right now, and I got Crocs on. I just walked out the house with anything, huh? But anyway, since we made it here, let's check the IG story. Let's check the IG story, man. Let's see. Well, at least we see it. So why is this boy, like, smacking? What the heck? Why is this boy smacking? All right. We got a thousand views in like five minutes. That's fire. And we got a bunch of same size as you and, and shoes to you and shoes to you, my twin for real. Don't know what that means. Okay, we got a lot we got small, large, medium. Did you release some? Not yet, they coming out soon. Medium, medium, large, extra large. Okay, I'm going to get a couple smalls, get a couple mediums, and a couple larges, and then probably one extra large. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to only get, like, I don't know, two smalls, two mediums, two larges, two, four, six. Nah, so I'm going to probably just do small, like, two smalls, one medium, one large, and then an extra large. That's five. I'm going to just do, yeah, I'm going to just do that. So I'm gonna just do five hoodies because I'm honestly like this happened last time. I remember I was like, I'm about to drop merch, everything. I had like, are you gonna cop the merch when the drop? I had a thousand people on my poll say yes, right? Just how it is now. All these people saying the size, talking about they gonna cop whatever. I had a thousand people on my poll say yes. Just the worst thing ever. I'm like, oh, I'm hype. I'm like, I get that. I'm like, Dave, we might have to make like a thousand shirts or something like they going crazy we might have to do a thousand shirts like all these people saying they gonna cop it's like two thousand people saying they copping a the shirt i'm like yeah we're gonna need two thousand shirts i dropped my merch first time dropped my merch only one person bought a shirt i was like bro what so yeah y'all merch ain't never do good for me and honestly i have no confidence some people do want the hoodies some people say they fire this is probably the most fire hoodies i ever dropped but um yeah, we're we'll, we just going to see. I'm going to just do five and see if some people cop those. And then if not, I'll probably just give them to my friends anyway. Just imagine, Stank Squad. Wizard. Magic. You ready? And, y'all, we are back. I told y'all magic, but they only had two small hoodies in there, bro. That place was cleaned out, y'all. They literally only had, like, three small hoodies and the rest was, like, three X's. So I'm going to just swing by another Hobby Lobby and grab some other hoodies grab the rest of them then we're gonna be gucci and the coochie you feel me yo better watch a girl she might be a hoochie uh just around pull up and no it's not a hoopty okay saying let me find out I need to get in the studio let me know comment down below let me know thanks squad but yeah so i'm about to go to another one just um just uh get my yeah look at this y'all telling y'all this is not an ad but i love them so much Affirm you're done. Thanks for paying off your Wayfair purchase, y'all. That was my bed. The bed frame that I got a year ago in California when I first got to Cali, y'all. This marks a year since, well, when I was in Cali, I'm gone now. But yeah, that was my bed frame 
I got, I got that on the firm from Wayfair. Ain't that lit? That's fire. So, I, I mess with the firm. They need to sponsor me. I should reach out to them see if they sponsor me. That would be a fire one because I really do appreciate their products and stuff. Well, not their products, but what they do. All right, anyways, y'all. Yeah, let me go get these other hoodies made. Made it back home. Step over the boxes. The guest room just turned into the storage room, I guess. I still have all these clothes I want to give away. So, if anyone do need some extra clothes and they my size, don't care. They don't care what it is. I have all these extra clothes I still want to give away. So, someone can um just hit me up and we could probably meet somewhere and I just give you some clothes if you need them, bro. Because I wear like a small... Most of these clothes is all smalls anyway, so if you just need anything, man, seriously, just hit me up, let me know. But we got the hoodies here, so we got a couple smalls, so we got two smalls, two mediums, okay, two smalls, two mediums, one large, and one extra large, so we got six hoodies in total, so uh, head up to Enjoy Detroit, get the hoodies made and everything, and yeah, so we got six hoodies that will be dropping and I'm going to drop them next week. I, I, honestly, next week the hoodies are dropping. So stay tuned for that. If you need a reminder of what the hoodie looked like, bam, on the screen right there in your face. The hoodies will be dropping next week, y'all. I'm going to get them made for y'all. They're going to drop. And then I'm going to ask if y'all want me to customize them for y'all. Like cut the bottom, make it like that type of fit. When, when, when we get there, I'm going to announce that and everything. But yeah, hoodies drop next week, y'all. So they're going to drop next week. I got them here for y'all. And I'm excited to drop them, man. Some of y'all are like, yeah, that, that boy hard. I need that. So we're going to drop them and see how the see how the six do, y'all. So, yeah. But anyways, y'all, um, next week, well, not next week, but in a couple days, actually, like tomorrow type beat, we go see the AMG and we are starting work on the AMG, actually. Enough of the updates and just talking whatever. We getting some work done. You know what I'm saying? We putting that work in. You feel me? And we are taking literally everything out of the AMG, like the engine and all of that stuff. We are doing all of that. Probably, I don't know if it's next video or not. I don't know, but literally soon. That is coming. That is the next thing with the AMG. So stay tuned for that. The Hellcat AMG is happening, and we are officially starting on it. I'm excited for that, but I'm about to end this video. Go edit this and upload this for y'all, because the same day y'all watching this, know the gang. This is what I did today. Whatever you did earlier today is this is what I did today. Think about that. Ain't that crazy when you think about it? So I'm about to end this video, edit everything. We go and see the AMG and pull everything out. That should be the next video. I'm gonna assume that's the next video, y'all. So I'm excited about that. But anyways, y'all, hope y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, go down and smash that like button, then subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more bangers. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>